What's going on, Keeping It Real family? As always, it's your boy, Diamond Key Son, on the line with the one and only, the true Miss Mika Claxton. What's going on, Miss Mika? Nothing much, man. Just enjoying life right now. I know, that's right. It's a pleasure <laughs> to have you on the show. I really, really appreciate you taking time to talk to us. Mika, want to jump right Anytime. into it. We first got introduced to Mika Claxton on this season of Basketball Wives. When we first met you, you were introduced, you know, as a mother, a wife, a woman about her true business all the way around. Is that yeah. still who you are? That's always been who I who I am and well, that's always been who I was and it's still who I am. You know, I've never ever changed from that, you know? I know that's right. I know that's right. Now I'm about my family and my money and that is it. It is family and money. You heard it first. Mika said it herself, family and money. Now, Mika, when you first got asked to become a part of the Basketball Wives brand, did you automatically say yes? Did you take some time to think about it? What went through your mind when that offer took place? Well, it really was crazy because, I'm sorry, it was crazy because a mutual friend of Shawnee's and myself kind of brought up the idea about it. It wasn't like the producers just called right away. Um, she brought it up and said, I think you really need to go on this, show them how we do it. And I was like, you know, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> now, me being a personal fan of the show, I love it all the way around. And when you came on, I was very excited because you are a wife, you are a mom, as well as you are about your business. Did you feel at any time as if the playing field was uneven when it came to you and the other castmates? Well, you know what? Um, I agree with you 100% about the whole way I was introduced. I think a lot of people were excited, you know, to see what I had to offer because I am married still. I'm in a happy marriage. So, you know, um, it wasn't going to be all that drama. It was going to be about really seeing what life is like behind the scenes. That as I entered um, the group and got to meet everyone, you realize that, they're already clicked up, and it, the playing field, like you said, was not level. Do you feel there was a particular something, or is there a particular someone, or something that happened that caused you to really go from being that trademark of what it is to be a basketball wife and have to really say, okay, you know what, it only goes but so far? <laughs> That's a good question. I feel like... Um, it's the other girls that made me, you know, break character because being um, rah rah and all that, that's not my style. I don't have time for it. You know, I'm, I'm very much a grown woman. I remember, and I, you know, I got to take it there. I remember for a while you were being compared to Tammy. Something was said to the effect of you all may act alike or may, you know, you reminded individuals of each other do you think that there's any truth to that hell no <laughs> hell no i don't think there's no that is definitely not a compliment and i'm glad i still didn't take it like that i was right to not take that as a compliment one thing about about me is i love i love being able to represent that around the way girl just in in the appearance i'm, I'm a brown baby i look like i look like you you know what i'm saying definitely. like i love that i represent that um and i'm not what what people think that athletes are, are supposed to be with a white girl or some you know somebody mixed i love that my husband is married to uh you know a beautiful black baby in the previews they show a preview where you are saying being a basketball wife is about a brand and it's about a lifestyle is what i said exactly a lifestyle can you explain that to those viewers who may not understand what it is what is it to be in this a lifestyle see <laughs> i can definitely explain that being a basketball wife is you know it is about a lifestyle it's not about all that cattiness that they're showing or i'm sorry not showing that they're um the word when you that they're exhibiting it's not about the cattiness it is all about a support system a bond and a lifestyle that a lot of people really look at i mean me um we do we are very blessed 
we are very blessed. I mean, we do have a bowl and alley in our house. Like, these are things that are crazy. But we give back so much to, you know, our old communities. You know, my husband and I are both from Queens, but two different areas in Queens. But we make sure to go and give back every summer. We work with a few different organizations. How did it feel to be the only basketball wife on Basketball Wives? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Because, now, hold on, let, let me set the platform. I need everyone to remember that currently, prior to Mika stepping foot on the show, we had a show entitled Basketball Wives, which at the time had um, ex-wives, some who were engaged, some who had been engaged, some who were never even wives, but it was this big ordeal about that. Then we met Mika Claxton, who was, is, and shall remain a basketball wife. Mika, please tell me, how did it feel? <laughs> it actually was a good feeling at first. I really was ready to show, like I said, that side of it. You know, I didn't feel like we were being represented. Um, I, like everyone else, was so excited to tune in um, season one when I was able to catch an episode I'm like, okay, let me see which one of my girls are going to represent. And, you know, and I, I look on and I don't see any. So I was very, very excited to show a side that no one was getting to see. For those who may have missed that exact first episode, Mika, can you tell us exactly what it is your your, your business and your brand is? I, co I am co-founder of Allure Realty Group, which is probably the only global luxury real estate boutique. Um, there are other relocation services, but we're the only luxury brand. We catered initially only to athletes and entertainers for like the first three years, and then we opened up our doors um, to the military because it is a free service, but we do provide unmatched, well, an unmatched menu of services. What can we expect from Mika Claxton now that, you know, you've been bought to the forefront, you know, it's going from a time where everybody knew Speedy Claxton, who is mm -hmm. your husband, to now everyone knows he and you. What can we expect upcoming from you? Because I feel that you are someone everyone has fallen in um, in love with and someone we want to see more from. Well, aside from, like I said, my real estate brand and us growing that day by day, I have started um, MC Beauty, which will be in stores before the holidays um, with a limited edition collection. It is makeup, you know, colors for women of color, not just black women, but, you know, Indian women, just women of color. Definitely. There's so many variations to our shade that we have a problem. You know, that's one of my problems, letting people that don't use products for my skin that go with my complexion. And that's a, that's a huge problem. So. Yeah. You know, it's out. Th we're we're pushing that brand out there. It's going to be, you know, highly pigmented, high quality. You know, not going to crease in the eyes. It's going to be so sexy. As always, Mika Claxton, I truly appreciate you. For those fans out there who may want to contact you, is there a Twitter, Facebook? Are you ex accessible yeah, at all? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I have a fan page on Facebook, and it's Mika Claxton. Um, I'm on there. I'm shouting out everything that I'm doing. I'm letting you guys stay up to date on all my endeavors, on my projects, and where I'm at, so um, you guys can come check me out. But on Twitter, it's like, it's 24-7. Right now, I'm, it sucks because we're missing part of that reunion, <laughs> and yes. I see people going on about this reunion. But I am on Twitter, and like I keep telling people, you know, you only get .001%, if that, of each of us girls. You know, you really need to get to know the rest of us. And, um, you know, like for me, there's a whole 99% that people don't know. Yes. That's why I love interviews like this. But at the same time, not everyone can, you know, check your interview out or check me out on that radio station. So I always encourage everyone to follow me on Twitter. It's at Mika, M-E-E-K-A, Claxton. And, you know, check me out. There it is. You heard it here first. As of now, we only know that point zero zero one percent. Mika, we yeah. definitely look forward to that other 99% getting to know you. We expect great things. As always, Mrs. Mika Claxton, we love you. I love you, baby, and keep doing your thing. Thank you.
Thank you. There it is, keeping it real family. You heard it here first. Miss Mika Claxton on the line. Until next time.